Okay, today we're at day number two of building our business plan for 2023. And as you know, the document that was provided to you is a 31-page document. And we're just covering the uh, in the next 11 days just the key elements of the 31 pages so you can begin building your business plan. Remember, we have till December 31st to complete your business plan and having it to me so I can provide it to, to Stacy Strobel of Exit Southeast. So today we're talking about the second element of building your business plan, and that is foundations, six foundations. And today it's your job to sit down and give consideration to each of those foundational pieces. There's six of them, commitment, accountability, your why, your vision, your mission, and your values. That's your assignment for today. And it may take more than just a few minutes of sitting down and writing them out. I suggest that you write these out as best as you can, and then come back to them and change those things that need to be changed add those thoughts that need to be added to this. This isn't difficult, but the thinking part is the difficult part in identifying exactly where you want to go from a foundation standpoint of building your business plan in 2023. So let's just take commitment and let me bring that document up. Let me share my screen and see if I'm able to do that. Okay, should be sharing my screen right now. And so this is the foundational piece to the business plan. Two pages and six um, six different areas that you need to touch on. So in these foundational piece, pieces, the first one is commitment. Interested, committed, obsessed. You're about to lay out your plan for 2023, your bridge to your future. But a plan without a will to execute is only words on a page. So write a message to yourself and your coach, but just to yourself, stating how seriously you are committed to implementing this plan and being held accountable to it. I think the, the, the last sentence is the most important. To write a plan stating how seriously you are committed to implementing this plan and being held accountable to it. So in this part, write down your commitment, exactly what your plan is and what you plan to do with it. Mine, some elements of mine is that I'm very committed to accomplish my set of goals for 2023 and be open to shifting every 12 weeks. As you remember, we're going to be coming back to your business plan every 12 weeks uh, based on careful evaluation and consideration. Okay, then I have some personal uh, statements within the commitment. Next, accountability. What additional accountability do you need to ensure your success? Well, of course, you'd want to let your coach know, or you'd want to let your broker know, um, or the people that you're working with, maybe your accountability partner. So what accountability do you need to ensure your success? Is it a daily reminder? Is it a weekly reminder of the things that you set out to do for that week and whether you're on course and then helping others with the same goal in mind? So accountability is next. You have to be honest here. What accountability do you need to ensure your success? Write it out. One of mine is the accountability I need is to be forward enough to ask those that I respect for their assistance, okay? Next, your why. What motivates you? A powerful why comes out from a clear understanding of yourself. Do not write what should motivate you. Acknowledge the truth about what drives you. So what is your why? Remember, we actually did the uh, the uh, five, six, seven, we did that exercise to help you identify your why. You might want to 
uh, watch that video, which is on our uh, Facebook page, your 567, and redo it if you need to. Look at it. And so what motivates you? Next, your vision. A vision statement is a clear, detailed description of your business in the future, say, three to five years from now. And we're all different. Some of us might have long-term goals of 10 years. That's probably too far out for me based on my age and my mission and how I want to work in the future. But a vision should be at least for a year. What is your vision for this year? And write a detailed description of your business in the future. It clarifies your long-term goals. It should be, remember, smart, spe specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time-bound. Unlike your mission, it usually um, it is usually not meant to be publicized. All right? You, but you probably want to uh, share it with your coach, your mentor, um, that person that you're working with. Your mission. A mission statement articulates the purpose of your business and your means of reaching it. It should be simple, a simple sentence or a phrase. The public needs to see it and you need to focus on it. Okay, so look at your mission and see what it is. Mine, in an example, might be my mission is to coach, train, speak, and write in a way that inspires, creates trust, and embraces a positive mindset that changes the lives of those around me. Okay, figure out what your mission is and your values. Values shape identity and guide decision-making. Instead of single words, write brief sentences. Consider and feel free to use Tom Ferry's. And mine are almost exact to his. Maybe it's because I, I've been a part of his coaching for so long. His are to deliver value, embrace innovation, build and maintain trust, execute with relentless discipline, strive for greatness, Share your values with the public. That should be uh, maybe built into your mission statement as well. Share it with others so others know what direction and what your values are. People respect your values. So today's day two, and this is your assignment for today. Give it deep thought. Be willing to change it, scratching things out, erasing things out, adding things in. You might want to do something this morning. Come back to it later this afternoon and maybe tonight or to come back in a week or two and revisit it and see where you want to go for 2023. So today's day two and stay tuned for day three. Thanks for watching.